Hey there, gents. Today I'm diving into something pretty important. How diuretics, yes, those little water pills could be affecting your love life. Let's crack on, shall we? Now, hypertension or high blood pressure is incredibly common. About one in four men globally have it. While it's a silent condition, the medications to treat it, not so silent. One of the most common culprits, diuretics. These are known to cause erectile dysfunction. Right, so what are diuretics? Essentially, they're medications that help prevent fluid buildup in your body by increasing urine production. You might know them as water pills. They're handy for reducing swelling in the legs, lungs and abdomen, lowering blood pressure and even reducing the risk of kidney stones. But let's get into how these little pills can impact your bedroom activities. Thiazide diuretics in particular are frequently prescribed for high blood pressure and have a notorious reputation for causing erectile dysfunction. The exact reason why isn't entirely clear, but studies have shown that men on these meds often experience decreased libido, difficulty maintaining an erection, and even problems with ejaculation. Um, if this sounds familiar, don't panic. There are alternative options your healthcare provider can suggest. All right, let's talk a bit about the different types of diuretics. Here's the rundown. One, loop diuretics, mainly used for heart failure and hypertension. You might need to boost your potassium intake with these. One. Thiazides, common for hypertension and edema, but also used to prevent heart failure. 1. Potassium sparing diuretics. These help with hypertension and heart failure without causing potassium loss. 1. Osmotic diuretics, used in acute renal failure and to reduce brain swelling. 1. Carbonic anhydrase inhibitors treat glaucoma and high altitude disorders. Now you might be wondering about natural alternatives. Things like hibiscus, dandelion, ginger, parsley and even caffeine can act as natural diuretics. But remember, Always chat with your healthcare provider before mixing things up. Let's not forget the other side effects of diuretics. Headaches, dizziness, dry mouth, fatigue, and in some cases more severe issues like blurred vision, blood clots, or even hearing loss. And a quick tip, avoid alcohol while on diuretics. It can mess with your salt and water balance. Finally, who should steer clear of diuretics? If you've got severe kidney or liver issues, diabetes, gout, or are on NSAIDs, your healthcare provider might recommend different medications. All right, that's it for today, folks. If you're dealing with hypertension and taking diuretics, keep an eye on your symptoms and talk to your healthcare provider about any concerns. Your health is worth it. Thanks for watching and take care.